Hello, this is David Sherry. Uh, I'm dealing with URLs again uh, <clears throat> today. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about again is uh, the window.location.href method. Okay. Um, in JavaScript. Okay, so basically, okay, as I noted earlier, anything here you see right here between the opening tag here and the closing tag here uh, you know that's you know you have opening tag and a closing tag all right is most likely going to be in JavaScript okay now it can be defined you know uh, as a different script but when it's just like this typically the browser is going to interpret it as JavaScript okay now here I have a function, all right, name right here. Okay, the closing brackets tell me it's a function. If anything's in here in this function, you know, like get URL, if there's anything in between those brackets, that would be considered a perimeter. Okay, but anyway, we don't have any perimeters necessary for this function that needs to be passed in JavaScript to uh, another function, so it's not necessary or you know for that to occur or to be used in a variable within the function itself when you have a URL passed within uh, as a, an, I mean a function with a perimeter in it you know like something goes in there where you see my cursor bouncing at okay uh, then it would be used down here somewhere okay but anyway what we're going to do is the main purposes here is what is the current location of your web document okay and what I mean by that is, is this Okay, now up here you have the address bar. You see that highlighted in the address bar right up here where my cursor is? Okay. All right. That is the current location of the, of the document on the server. Okay. All right. And if you noticed earlier in one of my videos, I was talking about what we call the uh, query string. Okay. Which occurs after the document name, you know, the document name, which would be right here. Okay. And all this is the fully qualified domain name or path or URL, okay, to the web server to this very specific document right here, which is called viewpage.php, okay, which tells me or anybody else that's looking at the URL that it's written in PHP as a, as a scripting language or programming language. Te technically, it is really a scripting language, okay? But a lot of people don't like hearing that. Well, anyway, so anyway, we want to be able to get this. And the reason that is necessary is because sometimes you want to pass that URL information uh, uh, to something else for another reason, okay? Uh, and so... Uh, you could uh, do it, and you may want to pass the URL to uh, uh, a function which could be used for like cookies, and you want to uh, track the history of the page. And you can use cookies to do that, or you can use sessions to do that for you know for what they call session tracking, you know for using sessions, or you can track it using cookies, and you can pass that URL uh, to that. Okay. But anyway, so as, as uh, just starting off simple, okay, okay, as the title says right here, okay, we want to get the current URL, okay, of the web page using, okay, what are we using? The window.location.href method, okay. Now, this here is called dot notation right here when you see all these dots, and, and that's something that, you know, JavaScript does, okay. And so, anyway, um, the primary thing you're interested in is this, okay? All right. And so we could have to create a function, all right, which is here, all right. And then I want to send the information out through a alert, you know, which is a, a pop up that occurs. You know, you've seen them probably, you know. And so the in the alert, I have double quotes here, okay, and here. Okay, I have a space here, so it looks nice in the alert box. Okay, it says the URL of this page is, and so after I have the double quotes because uh, of how things work, okay, 
since this is a you know a method here, okay, we can't enclose it, all right, uh, within double quotes. It has to remain remain separate unless we define it as a variable up here somewhere later, okay. So, but the easiest way would be to do as you know, uh, you have have this right here, okay, and quoted string. That means it's a string that's in quoted, okay, and then a plus sign is for concantation, all right. And then you have your method right here, okay, all right, um, which uses uh, you know dot notation, all right. So anyway, and so this is what method we use: the window location, the window dot location dot href will always return the current URL of the page. So if you want to how to get the the current URL of the page, then this is what you would use. And um, so anyway, to give you an understanding here, okay, uh, to for the properly formatted document in HTML, okay, uh, that uses HTML and, and you know JavaScript will look like this, okay. So you have uh, your doc type HTML. You want to always use that. A lot of people sometimes will just use HTML language right here, but this here will help prevent certain errors that occur later on. So it's always best to get in the habit of using the doc type, okay? And then you want to specify your language right here, you know, EN for English, okay? And so then you have in, in here is the head of the document right here. Okay, so in HTML you have opening and closing tags. So the closing tag for this, okay, was this right down here. Okay, so if you'll notice, all right, uh, the opening tag as a doc type shows you it's an HTML, L, uh, HTML, not XML or something like that. Okay, all right, the opening tag will have this, okay, or it'll look like this, okay, or it will look like this, okay. There's no slash between, so that's an opening tag, okay. All right, so. All these are basically opening tags for the head of the document. Okay, now in the head of the document, we have the opening tag right here for the head of the document, okay, which is what we also call header. Okay, then you'll have the title. Okay, you have opening tag for the title here. All right, and then you have the closing tag right here. Now, what makes the closing tag distinct for the title? is that you have the forward slash right here. Okay, if you don't put this backslash right here in this page, then what's going to happen is when you're programming in HTML, the rest of the document, none of this right here will show because you don't have a closing tag right there. All right, so whenever you have an opening tag, always put a closing tag, otherwise you'll have script errors. But it's especially true when it comes to the title. If you do not have the title with a um, properly formatted closing tag with this right here. And what's going to happen is nothing else in the whole document is going to show. Absolutely nothing. You know, so if you like uh, execute the document after you wrote your code and all of a sudden you don't see nothing, okay, well it's because of this right here. This is because you didn't properly format your title tag, uh, closing tag, okay, on the title. That's usually the reason. Okay, there could be other reasons. Okay, but anyway, uh, so anyway, then you have your opening body tag here. And if you notice, you have these backslashes here in HTML. All right, so you have the closing body tag here. And then you have the closing HTML tag. That means it's the end of the document and there's nothing else that the, that the uh, browser needs to see or have. Okay. And so that's the end tag, and basically since we're using the doc type here, okay, and the English here, okay, the both of these are actually opening tags, okay, and so I only need one ending tag here, okay. So anyway, back to the URL issue, okay, how do I get the current URL of the web page? Okay, the way you do it is you create a function, and in that function I can use an alert, Okay, like this, or I can use a uh, document dot write. Okay, or I can use 
you know, uh, get element by ID and then put it somewhere else in the document, uh, like within another paragraph or whatever. But, but anyway, all right, so but what this function is, okay, it the function has to be called by something to use it so you can make this alert occur. So when you create a function, okay, it has to be called. Okay, so how do we call the, the function in this, in this um, script, okay? We got this button right here. Okay, this is the code for the button. It means right here you'll have click here. Okay, all right. So anyway, you have what is called an on-click event right here. This designates an on-click event, and when, so when you, the button is clicked, all right, the on-click event says use the function for the get URL, okay, which in JavaScript, all right, oh, all right, it's going to go to this function right here, all right. And then it's going to return the URL as a pop-up. Okay, and then the URL, the pop-up will be the same thing that you see right here, and it'll include everything of the current URL, including the query stream. Okay, and so you know when you do that, you're not only getting the um, you're getting the query string as well, not the URL without it. Okay, that's another thing to remember. And you'll have that special code to work on that. And so hopefully I can remember to put that up at some point in the future. But I got a lot I'm working on. So anyway, that's the basic code for how to get the current URL using the window.location.href method. Some people call it an attribute. Okay. But anyway, that is the, this is that's the code right here, how to do it. You must have this right here. Okay, to get the current URL. All right, and you can go on the internet and you can study um, different things uh, in programming to see um, um, how to do it. You know, it's neat because you know if you type in window, if you go to you, uh, if you go to Google, Dog Power, whatever, and you just type this in right here, uh, it'll show you different ways that people use this in their code, and that's a good way to learn. Okay. That's how I learned it, okay, by looking and learning other people's code. No one taught me how to program. I'm learning it from somebody else, okay, I mean from studying the Internet. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, the code to how to do it. Thank you for viewing my video, and I wish you a good day. And, uh, and so if you want to get the current URL, and that's necessary, I think it's pretty important, as simple as the code may be, uh, it's good to have a quick reference, and this is what my video is for, just to give you a little quick reference on certain small little things. Thank you, and I appreciate you very much.